Here's what's coming up in Kaleidoscope. I get a chance to visit the University of Southern California, A. We'll take a look at that coming up. IHS TV, Channel 11. And now, Barry Harris, Laura Boyd, and the K-Scope News Team. This is Kaleidoscope News, this morning. Good morning, everyone. Today is Tuesday, January 27th. I'm Laura Boyd. And I'm Barry Harris. Thank you for joining us. It's a pleasure, as always, and welcome back. Uh, we hope you're adjusting to the new semester very well. We're going to start off this morning by taking a look at the weather. Hi, this is Steph with today's weather. Today will be cloudy with a high of 30. Tonight's low will be 28 degrees. The current temperature is 28. The humidity is at 88 percent and the barometric pressure is at 30.48 and steady. Now to birthdays. This is Sophie with birthdays. The birthdays for today are Sarah Evans, Rachel Kennedy, Harry St. Jean, Taylor Kellett, Dean Gigilio. Happy birthday. Data match forums will be in homeroom folders today, and homeroom will be extended for five minutes to complete them. Just leave them in the homeroom folders when you're done. Students from Pencrest will be visiting tomorrow. They will be shadowing some Interborough students for the day, so we hope to give them a nice welcome. Now over to sports. Good morning. This is Allie and Jim with today's sports. Boys basketball team has a game at home tonight against Glen Mills. JV is at 6 and varsity is at 7.30. The Sixers lost last night to the Hornets, 101-86. to They play... Again tomorrow in Texas against the Houston Rockets. Tip-off is at 8.30. Flyers take on the Panthers tonight in Florida at 7.30. That's it for sports. Now we're to the news desk. This is a reminder that the Math and English Test Prep Tutoring will resume this week, today, Wednesday, and Thursday at 2.30. Room 303 for Math and Room 212 for English. Now is the time to prepare for your SATs, PSATs, ACTs, and PSSAs. This weekend, I had the opportunity to visit the University of Southern California on personal business, so I thought I'd get mileage out of the trip. This was the report I filed. Did you know the Trojans are a proud many? You know, they are one of the most active alumni bases in the country. On my plane ride over, I was able to sit next to a gentleman who was coming back from the Obama inauguration ceremony. In fact, many people on the flight were coming back. A lot of them had to stay in Philadelphia because all the hotel rooms in the Washington, D.C. area had booked. So hotel rooms, even as far away as Philadelphia, were booked up. I thought that was an interesting fact to share with you. By the way, they say it never rains in Southern California, but it pours. And right that is. Take a look at these pictures. It just kept raining and raining. The sun eventually came out on Saturday, but the rain couldn't have come at a worse time for me. It was the time that I was visiting. But it couldn't have come at a better time for the farmers in Southern California who have been dealing with a severe drought in the month of January. Who is the hero of the Odyssey? Mm. I'm going to tell you. Uh, who was defeated at Waterloo? Napoleon. Napoleon. <laughs> Hi, this is Nick with The Menu. Today we'll have grilled chicken and bacon panini, carrot or celery sticks, and fresh banana. And tomorrow we'll have spaghetti and meatballs, wheat dinner roll, tossed in green salad, and mixed fruit. This is Kim with the quote of the day. Mother Teresa once said, no matter who says what, you should accept it with a smile and do your own work. Now over to This Day in History. This is Steve with This Day in History. On this date, on January January 27, 1951, in the U.S., atomic testing in the Nevada desert began as an Air Force plane dropped a one kiloton bomb on the Frenchman Flats. And on this day, on January 27, 1981, U.S. President Reagan greeted the 52 former American hostages released by Iran at the White House. That's it, everyone. Thanks for watching Kaleidoscope. I'm Laura Boyd. And I'm Barry Harris. Surf's up. Never rains in Southern California. They're wrong.